my zoom is too big. That says it all. <laughs> I changed the lens to take a picture. The most amazing thing here is really the closeness and the quietness with which they're here and you can, you can face them. It's very, very unique. It's precious. Fabulous to see, you know, just relax. <laughs> Sitting on the other one. Look at him. This is the best sight I've ever seen. It's gorgeous. Samburu is one of the few places in the world where people can be this close to elephants. But their trusting nature can also leave them vulnerable when they move beyond the reserve. Frank gets a call from the community rangers. Three, perhaps four, alleged poachers were spotted and they ran from their, their camp. Uh, they fit the profiles, four young guys, they've got a sack with lots of stuff in it. Um, so we're just going to go and see if we can help the search from the air. Frank has been joined by a sergeant from the Kenya Wildlife Service. The rest of the anti-poaching team are searching on the ground. Fighting poachers is dangerous. In the last 12 months, over 20 rangers have been killed in Africa. Saba is worried. In some cases, airplanes have been shot at in the past, but, you know, one has to be careful. I worry about Frank. I worry about Chris Leadismo, who's our ranger. I worry about all of them because, you know, they're out there. They're right on the front line. And there have been many occasions where they've had very close contact with poachers. They've been in the sights of their guns. The poachers have been scared off, but the rangers will remain on full alert. The search also yields some unexpected results. I think I heard it. 40 elephants. They're not far from camp, but they're on the other side of the river. This is valuable information for Saba and her team. 